Hi guys, I'm back to show you a really fun look that can be worn day or night. The colors are really playful, um, but it's also something that would definitely work for an evening look as well. And um, I did something really interesting. I actually did one eye in um, com a completely different brand than the other eye, which until now you may have not even noticed. I did this because I want to give everybody a chance to, you know, go out, have fun, feel pretty, look good, and not have to spend a fortune. So um, this side I did like all the department store, you know, price makeup, and then this side is more drugstore. If you want to learn how to do this look, just keep on watching. As always, I'm going to use my Too Faced Eye Insurance and. Um, I recommend always using a primer because it's going to help keep your makeup on all day and it um, will help it from creasing and everything. I'm going to start off using a flesh tone from the crease of my eye to the brow bone and just use whatever color your flesh tone is because we're going to go um, back and highlight after. I'm going to use mainly this here, a Maybelline product. It's called Sapphire Siren, and that's what I'm going to use on this right eye. So the first product I'm putting on is this, the darkest blue, and um, just put that on the like for the outer two thirds of your eye. It doesn't have to be perfect because um, we're going to go back and blend it. And now with a crease brush, I'm going to go ahead and just barely add some of this color, this like blackish gray color. And I'm literally just like hardly putting it down. It's just to peek through the blue on top. Now with this like peacock teal color I'm gonna apply it to the first third of my eye. Just use stamping motions like when you pack on the shadow so you don't tug at your eye too much and bring it in to the darker blue just like overlap it. With a smudging brush or like a little tiny like eye detailing smudging brush. Go back into that teal color and line right underneath your eye. But bring it down quite a bit so that it'll peek through once we put down the dark, darker color. And then go into this like little inner tear duct area as well. Okay, now with that darker blue again, go ahead and line the outer two thirds of your underneath your eye again. You can already see the difference how um, much brighter this Maybelline color is in contrast to this left eye. Okay, so now I in the brow area I added this white kind of white color and you can see again how much shine it has. I'm going to blend it in with this smaller smudging brush. And now I'm going to marry the two the lid color with this darker color here in the crease. If you want to lighten up that teal color, I think you can go ahead and add a little bit of this to it. I haven't tried it. Let's try it now. Just a little bit though because it's really pigmented, which I'm very impressed by because it is, you know, the drugstore brands don't always have a reputation of having the most pigment in their colors. This is good. 
So far, so good. And now in that little inner tear duct area, I'm going to add, like, see in here, I'm going to add some of that white with a really fluffy brush. Actually, I'm going to use this one. This brush here. Now let's go ahead and line our eyes, and this is a new eyeliner brush. Ah, it is incredibly inexpensive. At like I think two dollars and fifty cents. <laughs> now I'm gonna use Maybelline's Eye Studio um, gel liner, and I'm gonna use this in the waterline. While my liquid liner was drying, I went ahead and lined the um, waterline um, so that the liquid liner can dry a little bit. You can use any navy, like super navy blue eyeshadow. I haven't added my mascara yet, obviously, um, but you can see already there's a little bit of a difference between the two. Um, I'm going to show you when I come back. Uh, the products that I used on this eye and then the products that I used on this eye and um, you know see for yourself see what you like better but um, to be honest I'm really really impressed with this set they come in like 12 different shades or like 12 different colorways and I think it's an incredible way to build your makeup kit without spending a lot of money and they're like I think it's $10 at Ulta, but if you go to Target, I think it's like $7.50 or $8. So anyway, when I come back, I'm going to go ahead and show you what I've used and what brushes that I've used or um, who I would recommend getting the brushes from. Okay, so I'm going to show you what I used. First of all, I used Maybelline Great Lash, the big one. Um, it just has a larger wand than the original. For my face, just to start off with, um, this is cheesy. Um, I used a sample of the um, of the L'Oreal Magic Perfecting Base. Again, I tried. Look at how many I used. That's how I mixed all my colors to match me. Um, it's the Dream Mousse on this eye here. I used. Um, on the inner lid, I, I'm making a mess. Um, on the inner lid, I used, um, this is Surreal by MAC, but now they have a new color, it's called Steamy, which is essentially the same color. MAC makes a pigment called Teal, which is a lot more similar to this Maybelline color. Then on the outer third of my eye, I used this color here, that blue. It's called Ink by Smashbox. Oh, and then on the eyeliner that I used um, after I used the liquid liner is um, MAC. It's contrast. It's like a really, really dark blue. Dark, like navy blue. And the color that I used for this gray here, this like grayish black, is similar to Nehru, which is right here. It's like a dark, dark gray, um, almost a black, but not quite. Then I used, um, for the highlight area, this color here, right here, which is White Frost by MAC. You can see, obviously, that this eye is like mo more moody and like deep, and then this one's brighter and kind of a little bit more um, fun, but um, they're really similar, and if you want this eye, or excuse me, this eye to look a little bit deeper, you can always add in that dark navy blue color, which I'll do right now just to show you. This is, instead of using MAC Fluid Line in um, Black Track, you can use this in, I don't know, black is black. Um, this is Lemonade by, oh, Pink Lemonade by MAC and then this one is Ample Pink and um, I put a coat on the top, put a coat on the bottom. Uh, use a lip brush or your fingers um, if, 
you're a makeup artist so that you um, keep everything hygienic for all your clients. And now I'm going to show you the brushes that I used. Uh, for packing, eyeshadow on like the lid. This is a great brush. It's uh, Studio Tools and it's just like a smudge. I don't know if it says medium shadow. This one is a smudge brush. And you can use that to like line underneath here, really like pack it in really tight. These Studio Tool brushes, you can find them at Target and they're like under $5. This here by Coastal Sense, the chisel shader, which is just slightly tighter, tighter compact bristles and it's a little bit shorter so you can get in tighter. Um, this one was $2.50, $2.50 by Coastal Sense and down at the bottom, I'll post a link to um, Coastal Scents um, because a lot of these brushes are Coastal Scents. Actually, the rest of them are Coastal Scents. So this really large fluffy brush, like crease brush, is great if you want to get into the crease, but you don't want like a really defined line. You just want it like really blended. This brush is great for like an all over from like uh, if you want to do all over your uh, lid or if you just want to go from your crease up to your brow bone. This is an amazing brush. Um, oh, I lied. One of these brushes isn't Coastal Scents. This one is Royal and Langnickel the silk collection it's like the pro silk collection and this is a really good crease brush which is like comparable to the MAC um, the MAC crease brush the 224 and then um, this eyeliner brush is the best eyeliner brush I've ever used I love it the thing to keep um, note of when you order from Coastal Scents um, check the reviews because people you wouldn't believe how many re everyone reviews like the products on Coastal Scents and they're almost always like spot on every brush that had great reviews um, I found to be great all the brushes that didn't have the best reviews I didn't find to be the best either um, but most of their products are incredible yes I live in LA can you hear the ambulance um, and then this is the brush that came with the Maybelline um, lip, uh, uh, gel liner. Oh my god, I can't speak. And um, it's really good. It's a really good brush. So that's a good way to like kind of. It's like a two in one. It comes with the with the liner. So um, so that's it. I think I covered everything. Really great look. If you want to do like an, a Halloween look, I know Halloween's a long time away, but for like mermaid look or um, like a peacock look, something like that. Um, so anyway, hope you like it and I will see you guys again soon.